Welcome to your market update and charts of the day for the 27th of March. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in the Asian session. Of course, overnight we saw another soft session in the US with a fairly late sell off to send the major indices lower. It's the third straight day of losses on the SP 500 after hitting those record highs last Thursday. Still some big data to come out this week, though, and that's going to be the major sentiment mover, I suspect. US futures are up slightly in early Asian today. Asian markets are mixed so far. SX is trading just above neutral as we record this, but everything looks very cautious still. European equity futures also point into a cautious open this afternoon. The US dollar index paused in the US session again. Very little movement as a result in commodities. Gold edged higher, but still beneath record highs. Copper is just about holding that $4 level after a slightly weaker day today, maybe a retest later on. Oil was slightly softer and pulled back from testing those recent resistance levels. Bitcoin continues to pause also just below 71,000, which it hit in Monday's trading. And on the data front, again, not much going to move markets unless you're looking locally. The US year on year PCE data. It's still the highlight for the week on Friday. Today, we do have Australian monthly CPI, which is noteworthy and may move the AUD. Eurozone industry and consumer confidence this afternoon and EIA all data out tonight in the US session before a busier end to the data week. Really ramp up tomorrow with US GDP and weekly jobs and the Q&Q PCE numbers. So expect more movement tomorrow, one would suspect. A couple of charts at Core RI today. Uh, Zippo Limited, again, having a really strong day. has paused the last three days, but again, up another 7% in trading today. Context is important. We put it on a weekly chart, and you can see it really looks as though it's moving up towards that sort of 250 level, potentially in the medium term. In the long term, could see this up to possibly around about this 285, which would be a very healthy uh, move up from where we are now of around about 17%. This stock continues to go up uh, and doesn't look as though that is abating at all after this short pause. On the US yen, you can see we've paused on the daily chart just beneath that 151.78 level, looking quite interesting. But now we've tried to breach this on the last six days with the failure to do so. So that becomes an all-important level to the upside. Uh, so Really, there's two levels I want you to watch on the US yen. First of all, of course, there is that 151.78, which is around about 20 pips up from where we are now. On to the downside, there's an interesting level also at around about 151.12. We just put this on the four hourly chart. You can see once again, it looks like a level of extraordinary interest. I've been tested it multiple times. If we do breach this, then the next reasonable level to keep an eye on is around about 48 points to the downside 48 pips to the downside at 150.62 so these are the two levels to keep an eye on 151.78 to the upside 151.12 to the downside trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now